I worked for international uh, uh, tobacco company uh, GTI. Um, I work in HR. Uh, I am a people and culture manager for Eastern Europe. Uh, so like mostly I work from home for Eastern Europe. Uh, my uh, manager, he lives uh, uh, in Geneva, in uh, our HQ. And I, support, uh, and I support all our Eastern Europe markets uh, in terms of HR. Um, I recently received uh, this position. Uh, I, most of my life, uh, I'm in GTI since 2007. So approximately 15 years uh, I'm in HR. And uh, f I started my career from the recruitment uh, and uh, I was business partner, employer branding manager. So like uh, um, I was responsible for several directions, mainly in HR, and also uh, I was involved in several cross-functional projects. Now I continue to work from home um, because like, um, what to say, uh, I do not panic. Uh, I have, uh, how to say it, uh, I'm in a good uh, mind. Why not? Uh, I can have time because I'm quite energetic person and uh, I, I have energy to do my job. I have energy to, to volunteer. So like I try to work. Uh, my manager, he tries not to, to give me too much uh, of the, uh, tasks, but like, uh, and I'm grateful for, for this to him, but uh, still, uh, how to say it? I continue to work even in these times. It was 21st of uh, February. It was the day of birthday of my husband. We had a lot of plans for this day. We, uh, we uh, how to say it, uh, uh, we would like uh, to go to the spa. I, uh, uh, how to say it, I rent a spa hotel uh, in order to, to go with, uh, with my husband and our daughter to spend some time there and to celebrate the birthday of my husband. And on Saturday, we planned a huge uh, birthday party at our home with our friends. Uh, it was Japanese party and we bought a lot of uh, things for decor. Uh, so sushi party. So uh, our guests, uh, they also bought some costumes. Uh, so we had a lot of plans and we didn't expect. Yes, some, something was in the air that, okay, Russia uh, will invade, maybe yes, maybe not. Uh, yes, I know that all our experts in the company, uh, they were, uh, they moved uh, from Ukraine, uh, but um, mainly we thought that uh, Putin and Russian army, uh, they would not, invade Ukraine, it was just the demonstration of their power uh, in the borders of our country. So like when we heard the bombs, it was five o'clock in the morning, uh, we were all in shock and uh, it was, uh, how to say it, we were sure that the war started. So it wasn't just like uh, fireworks or something like this, no. Uh, we understood uh, at once uh, that uh, the war started. Our daughter, she was uh, in panic. She started to cry. We tried to um, calm her down. Our dogs, because my dogs, they are afraid of fireworks, of all these uh, noises, and uh, they also were uh, in panic, and we tried to calm them down also. And we called our friends, um, and uh, uh, we decided to... Um, how to say together at our place because we have private big private house and it is quite uh, it is good equipped uh, uh, in comparison with the flats uh, on on in the, in the huge uh, uh, huge apartments like uh, in the city um, some of our friends uh, they decided uh, to go to their parents uh, to the Kievsk region and uh, 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 one pair of our friends, sorry, that's my dog, uh, they decided uh, to, uh, to, to, to stay with us and they came. They just gathered their things and came. That's it. And uh, this, like, uh, first we didn't understand what to do. Yeah. And uh, I am the, I'm not only how to say, it, I have additional job for myself. Uh, because I'm the head of uh, uh, the cooperative where we live. Uh, like we have approximately 200 houses and it's like the community. And I was selected, last year I was selected uh, as the head of this community.
Uh, it is like part-time job. I don't know how to say it. If, uh, it's just also like a volunteer for me. Um, I started to receive calls from our neighbors because they were panicked and shocked. Uh, we have a lot of adult people there and who are pensioners. Uh, and I didn't have uh, time to, to panic. And uh, I coordinated uh, uh, their actions here in our community. What to buy, uh, uh, what medicine do we need? Uh, what food uh, do we need? Uh, which, uh, how many people we have there? Uh, how many people would like to go? Uh, we get that information there. Uh, we uh, started to build uh, the blog post uh, in, uh, in order not to, to go to our community there. Uh, we uh, started uh, to understand how much weapon and how much men do we have there in order to protect uh, ourselves. Uh, so like uh, quite a strong decision were taken and not uh, natural for me because I'm a woman. I am like, um, and I, I didn't know what to do. And I started to, uh, to search in YouTube, for example, how to make blog post. We didn't know it. And men, even in this panic situation, they asked me, look, Maria, I don't know where to put this uh, uh, big, uh, mm, uh, big sucks with sand. I don't know how to build this blog post. So I uh, searched in YouTube um, and we, we did it, we built it. Uh, so after the coordination of everything here in, uh, uh, in our community, yeah, um, I understood that uh, uh, a lot of animals left there in our private district because uh, our private district is quite big here in Kyiv. Uh, we are the part of Kyiv and like uh, I understood that a lot of people just moved and left their, uh, their animals at home, locked in their yards. And we decided to, to help. Uh, we started to go to the supermarkets to find foods because it's not an easy task now because everything is like uh, uh, is bored and uh, many people like, for example, they are also in panic and they started to, to buy everything that they see. So like uh, um, uh, I coordinated the actions in order to help people there because uh, we need to, to be in the huge queues for in the um, apotheque, uh, in, uh, in the supermarkets to buy food for people to, to store to store something in order to have it uh, for some case and uh, for third part animals there. I put, I posted uh, uh, the proposal in our Osokarki group because uh, I found the channels in Telegram and uh, I found the channel for our Osokarki team. Um, and I posted the proposal that we can, um, we can f uh, feed animals left alone. And we started to receive a lot of requests uh, that we need to go there, we need to go there. And uh, all our days are full of uh, these trips. Like uh, we started, we, we got up, uh, we searched uh, in the uh, news, uh, okay. Then uh, we had breakfast. Uh, we uh, went for a walk with our dogs at home, yeah. And uh, we moved to supermarkets, uh, uh, zoo shops and apotheque. Uh, uh, after it, uh, we came back and uh, feed all animals uh, uh, and uh, how to say it, also received some requests like today, uh, some um, disabled person, she is uh, 90 years old, she can't work. Yeah, she's, uh, she lies in the bed, she, she can't, uh, um, she can stand and she asked for help to buy her pampers, to buy her uh, medicine and to buy her food. And uh, uh, we also try to support not all, only animals. And uh, we bought it and uh, uh, we found her and she took, uh, took the stuff to her. So like uh, all our days are full of these things. And now, for example, after our discussion, we will go to the... Um, we have some area where we found puppies, small puppies with a mom. And uh, I tried to transfer them from Kiev to Lviv and from Lviv to Poland, for example. And uh, I am in, in several um, rescue groups in Facebook. And like, uh, I tried to, to connect and uh, try to find the car in order to uh, put them from 
Kyiv to Lviv uh, because like uh, here there are a lot of animals. Why not to, to use this chance to, to find them families? Most Ukrainian women, like for example, my mom, she's 70 years old and I'm, um, I'm proud that she is not also in panic. She is in good uh, state of mind and uh, she uh, taught how to bake a uh, bread in a domestic, like uh, in, in, in the oven uh, without any uh, equipment. Uh, she found some recipe in YouTube. She tried several times and uh, she made uh, the quite simple recipe of bread. And uh, for example, it is quite difficult to find uh, mm, fresh bread in Kiev. Yeah. And uh, uh, she baked it for our neighbors. And uh, that's like, uh, that's also her uh, not I am glad because uh, she spends a lot of time by baking this bread and not for sorts and searching for this terrible news and not to panic. So like, uh, I think that most people who stay in Kyiv, who stay in Ukraine, um, how to say it? I mean, uh, not in safe areas, but uh, in this uh, uh, mm, uh, not, not safe areas. Yes, uh, we try to be uh, su su super women and super men because like, uh, it is difficult to survive either way. My husband, like uh, uh, he, we have weapon, but uh, he he doesn't and he didn't uh, uh, how to say it uh, use it previously because uh, we didn't have chance and didn't we don't we didn't need it. And uh, he um, taught how to do it through YouTube also, and uh, we understood that uh, he uh, wouldn't be. Uh, useful uh, in our territory, uh, how to say it, we call, we call it territory oborona, how to translate it, like uh, territory um, gar gar gardens, something like this, uh, like they are not militants uh, by profession, but just ordinary people who can uh, take weapon and who, who can shoot, yeah, um, and uh, we understood that he would be useful uh for for this and we decided uh, to support our army and to support uh, our country uh by like for example we take people from our place to the uh, railway station uh those who without cars and can't get we have three cars at home uh fortunately we have uh, a lot of guests um, and like uh, we have this possibility to take them uh, from one place to another also, we bought cigarettes and uh, just uh, take the cigarettes to our blog post because like they need to, to smoke and it is difficult to find cigarettes and uh, now you can buy only five uh, packs uh, per person. So like uh, also my husband, we buy it and uh, we, take the, uh, we take cigarettes and when we had quite cold weather because today is quite uh, hot like spring today with the sunny weather but uh, several days ago we have minus 10 and it was quite cold and uh, we mm, made coffee and tea and also we just came to to the black post and uh, provided guys uh, with the coffee and tea because we have quite nice uh, uh, coffee machine and we made quite good coffee for for people because like it is quite difficult to stand uh, on a freeze for two, three hours without movement, like, um, and that's that's what we try to, to support. Every time when we heard some bombing uh, uh, noises, uh, we didn't know what to do. Yeah, uh, what, what to do, stay or move, stay or move. I received uh, several calls from my uh, uh, leadership team uh, from Ukraine and from uh, uh, our HQ that you should move, you should move. Mm, but I have uh, uh, two big dogs uh, mm, uh, and a cat. Uh, here's here's the, like here's just listening for us. It's our small kid, uh, and uh, um, I, I have my mom and sister. They have uh, three big dogs, and we understood that it would be uh, impossible to find any place to stay there with pets. Uh, I'm sorry, that's that's the noise of uh, air. Mm -hmm. uh, that uh, it would be impossible to find apartment with pets and uh, especially with big dogs and uh, like my dogs uh, um, how to say it, they uh, 
are not friendly with my mom's dogs. So we need to take uh, some of dogs separately in separate rooms because like uh, they will uh, fight with each other. Um, so we discussed this difficult situation and uh, uh, we had the opportunity when my uh, husband's sister, she worked for, she works for UNICEF, uh, uh, she was proposed the chance to go with convoy to Lviv. Uh, UNICEF rent and uh, paid for good hotel for their employees. We decided uh, uh, to um, transfer our daughter with them. It was quite a difficult decision for us as a, for parents because like we we didn't want to be separated uh, but like as a mom i understood that uh, she would be safe uh, in that case and uh, we couldn't leave our animals and we didn't even consider this uh, um, this thing like to to leave them alone at home no way so like uh, we decided to stay and to help and to support uh, uh, because I think that it is important if you are in a good uh, state of mind, if you do not panic like, like we are, why not to help? Why should you sit and just to do what? To wait to do what? Uh, like uh, I, can, I can work, I can help, uh, I can support others. Why not to do it? Uh, it's, it's time for do, to, to, to do it. And uh, I have a lot of energy. Uh, I need to spend this energy for something because like uh, uh, before the war, um, I did several jobs. Yes, like uh, because I'm a volunteer also for pets. Uh, I am volunteer here for our community. I'm the head of this community and uh, I have a, a full-time job and uh, I have a, I have enough energy why not to help that's why we decided uh, um, we decided to stay and to, to survive and to help others to survive because like animals for us uh, like the family members and like for example one of my dog uh, he's 11 years old he's quite big and uh, um, it is like to to leave uh, uh, my child uh, so we didn't consider this. Uh, uh, my husband, he proposed uh, to, um, how to say, to, to stay with them at home that we need to go, uh, me and my daughter, um, and he will stay with them. But uh, it was not a good uh, solution for me because like I understood that it will, it would be quite difficult for him to handle this, uh, this, uh, this our dogs yes this stuff and uh, i understood that uh, if someday he uh, would go to the army because we understand that uh, it could be yes that uh, it could uh, it could be that he, he he will need to take a weapon and to go to to protect our country uh, then if he would go then who will stay with our dogs who will stay so like uh, mm, um, and my mom also, she was crying all the time. She didn't want to move because she had, uh, she has uh, heart disease and uh, she just, okay, just leave. I will stay there. We didn't also consider this uh, just to leave someone, no. And uh, we decided to stay. That's why we are here. We are, we are in Ukraine, in Kiev. Uh, and I do not, um, how to say it? In English, what is this to say? It? I do not uh, um, um, how to say it uh, that uh, I do not have hesitation or that okay, it would be better if I would leave. No, like I'm I'm happy and I'm glad that I'm here, that I support a lot of people, that I support a lot of animals, and that's like uh, uh, that's what helped me to. Uh, mm, how to say it? Uh, uh, also, to be to be uh, like strong. We are really grateful for all uh, people who support Ukraine. We see it. We see it a lot of posts with our president uh, um, and like uh, my husband. He uh, he he is the one who knows him personally. Um, like and we support uh, president from the first day of his. Uh, like election time yes and uh, uh, my husband uh, my husband he uh, was the uh, sales uh, manager in our uh, in one of our automobile um, company he was responsible for range rovers 
and uh, Jaguar and Zelensky was his client actually he bought a car and uh, like my husband met him when he was uh, an actor uh, he wasn't the president at the time yes of course and my husband uh, um, how to say it uh, uh, he told me that he is a great guy, and uh, when we uh, knew that he decided to to, to be a president, uh, we supported this because we knew that uh, he is he is a really um, how to say it uh, he is a real man, and uh, uh, he will make a change uh, change in Ukraine. So like uh, um, now, I see that and. It was quite a difficult time for us because most of my colleagues, they did not support him at all. I uh, saw a lot of posts in Facebook uh, with uh, some uh, posts like, oh, those who supported Zelensky are stupid, were stupid, yeah? And uh, uh, for me, it was really offensive, like uh, why I didn't see this diversity and inclusion thing that uh, we have in our company because during our catch up, I uh, heard uh, the discussions among my colleagues that uh, Zelensky was not good, that they didn't support him, and those who supported were not, uh, uh, were stupid, yeah, that, that we selected him, yeah. Um, and uh, mm, uh, so, like, uh, now I see that uh, people changed and they started to post uh, um, good posts about Zelensky, that they changed their mind. Uh, and I saw a lot of posts from my foreign colleagues that they also supported him. Uh, I saw a lot of, uh, um, how to say it, and we feel a lot of support from our Poland colleagues, from Lithuanian, uh, from uh, 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 Romania, all, all countries that try to support. Uh, I made post in Facebook about our everyday life here in Ukraine that we support animals and my friends and a friend of my friends uh, uh, they just uh, started to, uh, to ask me uh, how they can support financially uh, please bring me the card number I will support you financially because like every day we spend quite a, um, quite a big amount of money um, yeah because like it's not cheap of course and uh, uh, that's why I'm really grateful for any uh, send that I receive from my colleagues and from my friends. Uh, and we really feel this support uh, from, from abroad. And even now when we try to, uh, how to say it, when I try to transfer these puppies, I uh, had the conversation with the, the people from Poland, from Romania, and I see that how they try to, to support and help. So we feel it here in Ukraine and we are really grateful for this. I think that it is, uh, I don't know, I think that he is a sick man. And uh, I, uh, I think that most Russians, uh, they are under propaganda, huge propaganda. And uh, we have a lot of relatives in Russia. My mom, she's Russian. Uh, and uh, she has relatives uh, in Russia and relatives uh, who, uh, thank you, thank you for this. My husband here, he, no, no, it's okay. The first time was, was better, thanks. Uh, because I, I was like in a, in a drug. Um, so like we have a lot of relatives in Russia and they do not understand us. Uh, my mom started to quarrel and uh, started to explain something, but we see that they do not understand at all. And I told my mom, look, uh, stop doing it. Stop uh, uh, just pushing your energy to, uh, to someone who who does not deserve it yes so like uh, they will not understand they are under huge propaganda and i think that uh, for them it's uh, like uh, they even do not want to see the truth because for them uh, uh, this life is much convenient because it's much uh, more convenient to to consider and to think that they are Nazis in Ukraine and uh, great Russians, uh, they come in order to uh, to support Ukraine, yeah, to, to help Ukraine to to uh, to be free of Nazis. Uh, uh, it's much difficult to to understand uh, that uh, you are invaders.
and uh, your country invaded uh, free uh, as a free country. So like I think that most of them just they do not want to to hear this truth. That's why they are like blind and uh, they support their Putin. Though like truly speaking, from this from this time of uh, when the war started, I didn't receive uh, any message from my Russian colleagues. Uh, I have a lot of colleagues from, from Russia, even who now live in Geneva. They are not, uh, they do not live in Russia. So they see this European news, they understand the truth. And uh, before the war, we had quite good relationship with them. Even the girl who was uh, uh, previously on my position, which now I, I occupy, yeah, uh, she, she is Russian who uh, moves to who moved to geneva and uh, like uh, we had quite good relationship before war and i didn't receive any message from them i don't know why like many people many colleagues from different countries they wrote marsha look how are you any help do you need uh, something like this i didn't receive any message from these russian colleagues who now uh, not in Russia, they live in different countries of the world and uh, like with whom I had quite good relationship before the war. Uh, and I don't know, maybe they, they think that uh, I will uh, fuck them, how to say that, but um, I don't have this, uh, um, I don't have this uh, feeling for them, like because I am a pity for them because like uh, I feel pity, only pity. I don't have uh, the negative, uh, I have only negative feeling for Putin and for Russian troops, that's it. Uh, but as for others, I just have uh, pity for them, that's it. The only thing that we need now is uh, the peace. So we hope that our army will do their best in order to, uh, push them away from our country and we are quite successful and truly speaking even ukrainians most of us we didn't believe in our army that we will we will be successful uh, all of us were afraid that in three days putin with uh, uh, his troops uh, would be in kiev and now we see that uh, uh, we stand for 17 days and like uh, no, we do not give up any big city for them. Yes, yes, we, of course, the, uh, they destroy our cities like uh, in awful way. And like my, par my uh, husband's parents, they live in Chernigiv and today we try to evacuate them. And uh, in this time when we talk uh, uh, with you, they are on their way of evacuation because like it was impossible to live without gas light, uh, uh, warm, so no electricity, no water, no gas. Uh, they were in the basement uh, from the first day of uh, the war and uh, they were afraid to move away. And uh, today my friend, uh, uh, he is also, um, uh, he works in our company. He, he called me, I know that he's from Chernigiv and he told me that, look, Masha, uh, I can help. Uh, we organize the evacuation. If uh, your um, husband's parents want to uh, join, uh, let's do it. And uh, now they're on their way to the safe place. So I hope that in one hour they will be in safe place and we will meet with them tomorrow because tomorrow they plan to be in Kiev. So I hope to, to meet them because like they were separated uh, were in the city without any possibility to survive.